Yo, what's going on to my beautiful worldly angels? It's your boy Doc Light coming right back at you with my first official 2021 first video, a brand new video. Um, sorry. Yes, I know I uploaded three videos like a few days ago. Disregard that because those three videos I recorded. And edited, I just did get them uploaded, and that was in the last week of 2020, pretty much before Christmas. But I just I've been so busy that I didn't upload it. So this will be my first official video. So just want to say happy new year to everybody out there. I know it's late for me saying it, it was eight days later, seven, seven, eight days later. So I really do apologize to you guys. Uh so, uh, I don't, you know, I know there's a lot going on. 2021 has already started off on bad terms. So, as we all know, capital has been, was storm, it's been pretty much a storm on the capital, protesters storming the capital and all that. Uh, we have had deaths already of big actors. The pandemic is still going on. So there's a lot going on in the first full week of pretty much the new year. And yes, I know, I know. But this video today is going to be mainly me pretty much giving out my uh, favorite games of 2020 and my favorite movies of 2020 were to what I want to be able to set up this year, some goals I want to reach here in 2021 and in 2020 name a couple of decent, well name at least one good thing that I've had come across in the worst time of 2020. Though 2021 starting off, like I said, off the wrong foot. But, let's just get into it. So, my, I haven't had a chance to play a lot of games of 2020, you know, because with the pandemic, a lot of people's, well, a lot of my hours have been cut so money became an issue and then, like i said it was so close to son's birthday christmas so a lot of stuff have happened to the point where i had learned to budget some things you know make sure bills are paid up i mean are um, i'm making sure i gotta be on top of bills and all that so it got to the point where i didn't have a chance to play a lot of games last year but I still enjoy what I was able to get into. So, I'm just going to go down the list of games that I enjoy. I'm not, I didn't, so I probably have, let's see, about seven or eight games. No, let's see, uh, one, two, three, about eight games that I have played. And they were fun. They were some great games. They're in, in no particular order, particular order. It's just they were some good games for me. Uh, so my first game would pretty much be, if y'all don't know, The Last of Us Part Two. Love the game. Uh, I understand the big controversy behind it, but I pretty much understood a lot of a lot of people's reasons for not liking the game. Some are just straight up stupid. Um, but I understand a lot of people's different reasons because I've heard a lot of them. Uh, I, I, I loved it. Like I said, I could see some, some points. It wasn't as good as the first, but it was, it was really good. Uh, there's really no problem with it for me. Uh, but I, and I understand what Naughty Dog was trying to do with the game for his very big, ambitious story. But... Somehow they dropped the ball. Well, not dropped the ball. It's just a lot of expectations came from it. So a lot of it didn't work. 
My second game will be Ghost of Tsushima. Man, I've been waiting for so long for a samurai game. We got one. And it was on point. Sucker Punch did a wonderful job with this. Uh, I kind of... Because this story, this whole the whole storyline with that game, it was pretty much just non-stop seriousness and sadness. I was able to kind of laugh it up. Some parts of the game <laughs> kind of drove me nuts. That just about everywhere you go, you just had to kill everybody. There was really nobody that you would need the spares, you know, protect, you know, make sure they stand alive. Everybody was just pretty much straight up dead in this game. But I do like the little standoffs here and there, going around killing a bunch of mongoose. Mongoose. Uh, it was fun. So, got the chance to pet a fox. That was left. <laughs> uh, gonna go to number three, which will be Doom Eternal. I, I'm just a big fan of Doom. It doesn't matter what what it's gonna be. So, Doom Eternal had its nice little fast, fast paced single player uh, story game campaign. It was wonderful, you know. So, uh. It's one game where you can just jump right into it and it's balls to the wall. It's just completely 110% going ham. Non stop. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. So, number four will be Among Us. That game has been kind, but has become a natural phenomenon. It also shows you that you really don't have to put too much into a video game to make it fun. You really don't. Everybody putting millions and hundreds of thousands of dollars and all that into a game like Cyberpunk 2077. And somehow manga's just... It's wonderful. It's a way to actually... Lose some friends. <laughs> nah, you you won't lose no friends playing that game. But it will give bring out every emotion in you. Anger. Uh, uh, sadness. Happiness. Fear. It brought so many emotions out in you. If you got a bunch of great friends, I guarantee you playing Among Us is just... Unbelievable. <laughs> you get you get yourself some good gameplay with that. Uh I shoot, I don't forget what I number I was on. I think it was number four, right? Uh number five. I'll probably correct it when I edit I'm throwing in some numbers I get. Number five would be Resident Evil Three. Uh I hate that it was a straight up short game, but it was fun. You catch my drift? It it was it's straight up fun. Uh, hold on a minute. Yeah, it it felt more of a DLC package. Like you could have just got it for forty dollars or something. But they did tell you it was going to be a, a small, a shorter game. But, no, no, they didn't. They never said it was going to be a shorter game. They just pitched it out like it was a full gameplay like Resident Evil 2. Uh, I enjoyed it. I wanted a heck of a lot more. Uh, so, there's pretty much not, not much to say about it. it Had some great vo voice acting in it. Some good characters. Uh, Nemesis was pretty scary. Thinking about replaying the game sometime on Twitch. But who knows. So, we will see. We will see. Uh, number six will be Fall Guys. Fall Guys is a beautiful game. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> All the colors, the stress you get from it, but it's so much fun. It's kind of, 
it's uh, it's on another on another level of Among Us, or should I say the same way? Because it's pretty much people have played bullishly in it. Get to get to the finish line, you be like, "Oh, I'm about to be the tenth person." Got one guy sitting there waiting on you, like, "Yo, come on, come on!" And they jump past the line. Yeah, they play bullishly in that game, but it's straight fun. It's very colorful, very good for. To play alone or to play with family, friends, it is it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful game to play. You know, I still haven't made got a crown on it yet, so hmm, hmm. we'll figure that out sooner or later. Um, that's pretty much it for me. I haven't played that many games, and like I said, I don't have a, a rig or a PC to play any of the PC games. Because I want to play Hades. I want to see what other people have. Uh, other game, You know. What I've seen so far. Watched other people play. Have gameplay of it. Uh, probably my honorable mention. Would probably be. Final Fantasy 7. Now I love the game. The reason why I didn't put it as a. In the, in the ranking. Will be majority of because I it's not a full complete game. The ending was weird to me, and then it's not a complete full game. If it was a full complete game, then it probably would have made top three, maybe. So, hmm. So, uh, but other than that, still a beautiful game. Get got a chance to and. Get reintroduced to some to some characters. Loved everybody. Uh, put me right back into the same emotions that I've always had with this game. And you know, you had just points of time where it was hard. It was easy. Side quests you really didn't need to meet certain ones. There's a few of them that I felt like they didn't need, but it was okay. But yeah. Final Fantasy VII is my honorable mention. So those are my favorite games of 2020. Now, we are heading into... uh, Now we are heading into the favorite movies of 2020. Hold on a minute. And we're back. Sorry about that. I had to pause for a minute. Anyway... Now my favorite movies of 2020. Like I said, now a lot of these are not going to be in a particular order, but these were my my favorite because I haven't had an opportunity to watch a lot of movies because when you're working a full time job, being a single parent, playing video games, streaming, then you're trying to make YouTube videos and edit and all that by yourself. A lot of times, your times is taken up to the point where you don't get a chance to see a lot of movies. Because there's quite a few movies like My Raymond's Black Bottom. I haven't had a chance to see that, see that yet. And a lot of people have said it's good. There was the uh, Tom Holland movie. I think it was what? The uh, Forgot the uh, the some the devil all the time. I forget that movie. Hold on. All right, I'm back, y'all. Sorry about that. Um, I forgot what I was just talking about. I had to do something right quick. Now let me just go into my top ten movies of 2020, which were my favorite. Uh, like I said. I haven't had the opportunity to see a lot of movies. So, hopefully, this year will be a little different, you know. You know, a lot of movies are coming to pretty much still going to theaters. And then we're going to have our summer and fall and winter full of movies. Good movies. But anyway, let's go into the top 10 favorite movies of 2020. Number 10 will be Sonic. (laughs) Yeah. Yes, love Sonic. Always have. 
pretty much Sonic was my first video game. Because I used to play on the Sega Genesis. And then also now, my son loves Sonic. So, had to see the movie. With all the changes they have done to the movie, well, done to the Sonic character. Um, it was pretty good. It's a nice, good family film. And speaking of Sonic Blue, you know, I'm doing it for the PlayStation. But it was a nice, solid film. Uh, had his little tropes here and there because there's not much you can do with Sonic because Sonic is pretty much a weird character within itself. <laughs> Uh, I hope they do set up to make a part two. Uh, so we can meet Tails, Knuckles, some of his other f friends and family. I hope they also send us to some of his, to different worlds, you know. You can go back to the Green Hill Zone and all that. Because starting it off made that look so wonderful. But who knows? We'll see. Number nine the cruise two it was just fun just like the first first one it was just straight up fun you had opportunities to, this movie had so many weird turns in it it just works <laughs> it, that's how i get that it just works um can't re remember too much about the first crew movie because i only i only seen it a handful of times but the second one Nice turn of event. Nice turn of event. But, hey, not much I can say about it because I've only seen it once and I've only seen it, you know, so. Let's go into number eight. Will it be Sputnik? Now, this weird alien Russian movie, it was pretty good. Uh, they kind of throw in early the creature, which is kind of smart on their part, but it wasn't all about just the creature. It was kind of a good drama ass love sto romance story. Didn't like too much of the ending of how it ended, but it was still good, decently. So, hold on a minute. All right, we're back, y'all. It's, it's been weird. So. Uh, what was that? I was on number eight when I said Sputnik. So we're going to carry on to number seven. Bad Boys for Life. Probably one of the first movies I saw this year that was wonderful. Loved it. Enjoyed it. It showed, That movie actually had an opportunity to show that uh, Martin Lawrence and Will Smith still got that friendship, boy. They know how to still carry on that, carry on that franchise. Now I want to see how the next movie is gonna be. The next Bad Boys, you know, since we're now we're gonna have a smaller team, well, a younger team, not a smaller team, a younger team come in. So it's old school and new school working together, which how a lot of these rom com police. Cops kind of stuff going on. Not rom com because it's not a romance comedy, but these police stuff. So, uh, going up to number six, The Invisible Man. This movie shows you you can do more with less. It's perfect. Well, it ain't perfect. You know, you had your up and downs in the movie. But to me, it was perfect because you pretty much, like I said, you can do a little bit amount with, uh, do big things with small, with something so small, as far as just having the right actors to portray like there's actually somebody in the room that is invisible. You know what I mean? There's, there's time when they actually were able to turn a camera panning in a, in a corner and it gave you that feel like that character that the invisible character was sitting in that corner no we don't know no one is a movie you know they had us in it like oh what's gonna happen next but you know it they did good now i gave give it to something and blumhouse did a good job with it now if you gave this to somebody like wb or which is one of brothers gave it any big con they did too much outrageousness with it 
But for them to take something that was from an older era of movies and put it in modern era kind of style, I like it. It, it was wonderful. Uh, woo, what was that? Should I say number... Let's see, hold on. Okay, so number five will be Hashtag Alive. This could have been, this movie could have been a prequel to the uh, Train to Busan. It really could have. A tr uh, the prequel or the sequel. It could have been, you know. Uh, it, it, was, it was another suspenseful, thriller kind of zombie movie. You know, the uh, characters had, you know, you feel for the characters. You feel for the people that was in the neighborhood, people in the apartment complex. You feel for his family. You felt for the people that just ran, was running around when it all started. You even felt for the two main characters. Now there was probably one person who was a straight up butthole, but he was in the same. He's in the same apartment building, just on the top floor. If y'all seen that movie, that was this is a spoiler, by the way. Uh, but yeah, this this dude that was trying to feed them to his wife, you know, that was just, he was a straight up butthole to me. You know, I felt like he was just straight up going to kill him anyway. But I loved Hashtag Alive. It was, it's wonderful. Uh, we're going to move up to number four, which will be Train the Busan Peninsula. I love that movie, man. Yeah, it's not like hashtag alive or or uh, the original um, movie Train to Busan. It was more of your your Hollywood action. How most zombie movies happen, you might have a good, really good zombie movie first, and the second one becomes all about the action and all of that. It was more of your Tokyo Drift mixed with. A zombie where and it was fun. It was a fun movie. I don't know why a lot of people giving it hate, but it was fun. It wasn't a direct sequel that we were looking for. I really wanted to see follow the little girl and the pregnant lady that survived. I wanted to see if we were able to continue that story. But this was fun, man. That it was ten years down the line and I think it was happening in another area. In the peninsula, but it, <laughs> the way they were drifting through them zombies, hey, it was fun. It was fun. Y'all should check it out now. It was really good if you haven't yet. Uh, I would go to number three, Possessor. Possessor, I don't know how to explain it, but it was it, it has your mind going on a Willis boy. Um, now. Granted, spoiler, if you watch this movie, if you haven't watched this movie and you're going to, beware of the sexual content, because there's a lot of sexual memes in this movie. They're going to show a lot of it, and I don't mean just mooching on the neck and all that. They're going to they be going at it in this movie. So there's quite a few scenes. And then if you're not into the... If you hate the... Poli this is another spoiler. If you hate the police brutality in real world, there's kind of a moment like that in the beginning of this movie. It's not really a mega, mega big thing, but it, it might if it's, if real life got you queasing on police brutality, this would do the same thing in the beginning of this movie. But there's a reason why it leads up to that. It's not like it's just somebody in it's totally innocent. Well. Y'all just have to see it, okay? Y'all have to see it. I can't explain no more. You have to see it. The number two movie will be Greenland. Another di world disaster kind of movie. End of the world kind of thing. And I love this movie. I'm sorry. Uh, I've seen Gerard Butler in so many, like, end of the world kind of type of movies. And a couple of them are okay. It's too outrageous. They it's like they spend more time with the effects of trying of the world being of destroyed, 
It's that, but in this movie, they did it so good that you get the perspective from the people that are seeing this incident, you know? You see that perspective. So it is great to see how everything is turning out, how this, you follow his family. Pretty much, and there's a meteor coming down. A comet. Pretty much, they explained that this is supposed to break off into small bits and hit the ocean, and nothing's gonna happen. But it hits land, and it wipes, wipes the world out. It's supposed to be bigger than the comet they came and killed dinosaurs, basically. Uh, I will do a movie review on that, so keep a lookout for that. Uh, but. Y'all should see it though. It's it's a wonderful movie. It's it's good. It's really good. My number one movie will be, and it's animated. So baby, so so wonderful. Uh, I understand the normal trope that everybody talks about, but I feel like this movie still kept our culture in it. You know what I'm saying? So I believe it's extremely good. So. But anyway, those were my favorite games of 2020 and my favorite movies of 2020. Um, now, one thing I would like to say, I just want to repeat it yet again. Thank you, all you followers, subscribers. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. 2020, if I could just take one thing from it. I know that we didn't have deaths. We didn't have a lot of stuff going on. People losing their jobs. Families getting broken up. And, you know, divorces. A lot of stuff had happened in 2020. But, you know, in my case, there's one thing that I could take from it that happened in my life. In 20, well, happened in 2020. And that's reaching 1K. You guys are the most awesome people that I've ever seen. Um, so... Thank you guys for that. Hope everything is going good in your neck of the woods, in your country, your city, in your side of your household, because, you know, there's too much going on right now. So, thank you for that. Uh, so, now to talk about the things that I want to achieve by 2020. Number one. I'm gonna do. The, I'm gonna be doing a lot of exercise. I'm gonna try to lose some of my weight. Uh, I'm not obese. I just want to turn stuff into muscles. You know, get a little, get a little bit of fat turned into muscles. You know, so I can be able to hit some punching bags and stuff. You know. Now nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, I just want to lose some weight. Uh, oh. I was doing it last year, but I ended up gaining it because of the pandemic, sitting at home, not being able to go nowhere, trying to stay safe. You know, I'm going to try my best to lose some weight by the end of this year. So, I don't know how many pounds yet. Just want to start, start doing something. Number two will probably be um, for my YouTube channel. I want to be able to bring you guys the best content. Um, I want to be able to get this channel to 2,000 subs by the end of this year. And truth be told, the way we're going, this is going to be a lovely pace because in about a, uh, less than a month, I'm able to get so close, probably two or three subscribers away from 1,100. So I would, I want to try that my best to hit. 2k or 2500 by the end of this year i'm just gonna say 2k or between 20 or less than right before 2500 but i want to try to reach those because of the fact that i want to bring in more people more anime movie people reactors i want to be able to learn some things uh like i said you can still Continue giving me suggestions on YouTube videos or stuff you want me to react to. Now, you know, with the DMCA and all that going on, I can't react to music. But I would love to. 
well, not love to react to music. I would just love to react to anything, you know, anything dealing with news on the Marvel DC Universe because you have Emergency also. I think that's their net YouTube channel name. You have the Canadian lad. There's a lot of people that are going to be able to watch videos on to pretty much keep up with what's going on in Star Wars, what's going on in because you got the angry Joe. I want to be able to re hey, react to them, you know, if you want me to react to some of that video. So, you can still throw in that suggestions out there. Uh, I want to try to also boost up my views. You know, um, I want to work hard to try to get more of you to see my stuff in less than 24 hours, you know. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding, you know. But, you know, I want to boost up my views because the more views... The better it is for me and my channel for this for this channel. Um, if you know YouTube history, yeah, you, I mean you know YouTube, you know the views, and get a lot of good thumbs up. Woo! Hold on, let me, let me hand. Yeah, get a lot of thumbs up. They don't even look like a th thumb up. <laughs> you know, it makes me feel good that a lot of these videos are coming coming and you guys are checking them out liking them showing some love it it puts a lot of comfort in my heart you know uh next thing will be now that i want to get better with streaming and with that i'm going to be able to get a better pc a nice good rig i want to set that up get better at playing some games talking to you guys about some about new bringing news into the about anime movie whatever gaming world uh, i want to try to start a small podcast i'm trying my best with that but you can't i can't do too much because i only have a laptop and it can't do a lot so i need to set up to get a pc and so i also if you guys Please come over there to the stream. You know, I'm trying my best to stream. We can still, even if I'm just streaming video game, you can watch, you can talk to me, and you can ask me about certain movies. You can, ask, and I'm gonna trust me. Just like that T Pain song, I know y'all been hearing it all on on uh, TikTok. I'm not gonna sing it because I know how YouTube is. You know, I talk back. You know, I'm I'm gonna talk to you. We can talk about anime. We can talk about the new episodes of Chichusa Kaiser. Attack on Titan. We can talk about the new anime that's getting... There's a lot we can talk about. If I ain't seen it, I will let you know. I'll probably end up watching it while I'm talking to you on stream. I just can't sit there and put it up on, on the channel because I don't want to get, get it taken down. But, we, hey, then I also have thoughts, too. Discord. I'm going to... Hey, we can watch to the top. 20 people if you want to be a part of the 20 people we can start watching and anime episodes some new anime drop we can watch it right there on on disco i would wouldn't mind doing that with with any of you you know the top 10 people come in we watch some anime movies you know and we talk about it we talk about some the anime shows or something disco i do have a discord follow me on the discord i'm gonna probably put it up here on the in the on the screen with the Twitch channel, come over there to the Twitch, you know, come help me grow on Twitch as well. You know, tell me what I need to get better at, what I need to communicate with, and what I need bots that I might need you set up, you know, come over there and check it out. That's all I want. Just come check it out. I'm trying to grow there as well. Um, trying to get to 50 by the end of this year. Which I I probably hit it. I'm at 48, so I would probably hit it. Uh, I'm trying. I want to hit affiliate. That's my goal. I want to hit affiliate by the end of this year. If I can hit affiliate, that being that's another major milestone that I have. So, uh, I mean, for me to be able to. Start doing YouTube almost two years ago. Come back, hit 1K last year, and then be able to come back on the next year. 
a year almost some months later hit affiliate that would be awesome but you know i'm taking my time enjoying it learning the ins and outs the do's and don'ts of stream pretty much uh last but not least i want to be able to probably start a patreon page but the only thing about starting a patreon page i'm trying to figure out something that figure out a good tier because i want to be able to i don't want to just sit there and be like oh pay five dollars and you get an episode of uh, no i want to be able to be like okay well if you do a dollar here you just get one episode unlocked or something or one anime series unlocking you watch that or one episode a day and, you know in five dollar tier you get the whole season or the whole episode series like if it's a hundred episodes i will watch that whole episode upload them to patreon and you can be able to watch it with sound and all unedited uncut whatever that's how i want i want to be able to bring patreon to you guys I want to be able to start that probably by the end of this year. Depend on probably what, because it seems like, because uh, you you have to, if you're, I, I'm trying to get my words right. By this channel being like, being so small, you know, um, you, it has to, it, I mean, I got, I, oh, Boy, what is my word? Uh, it's like I'm jumbo and I can't get it out right. But by me having such a small channel and editing everything, it would be easy for me just to record and just send it straight to Patreon. And you guys get it and you can watch all the videos, you know, uncut, unraw. All the videos that I can't get on YouTube. And you guys can enjoy it. Have fun with it. That $5 will help toward my son, be able to go toward my son. That $1, $5, however much builds up, it builds up to. It can just help with my son. Uh, everything can be for him. Or I can put it back into buy parts for my system. Buying games or something to give you more content. I can find ways to do things. Uh... Like I said, whatever comes in, it's going to try to go back after you guys. And it, it can also help help me to make my own, create my own prizes. You know, I can go buy some shirts, anime shirts, plushies or something. Get a box and, you know, put, put in, pack it into a box and give you some good uh, prizes to be able to set up some contests so I can give it right to you guys. There's a bunch of things I want to do. Um, that's a lot with Patreon. So, yeah. Um, I believe that's it for 20, what I want to be able to do. Kind of like my New Year's resolution for 2021. So, there's not much. Um, so, thank you guys One for the 1K. Thank you guys for if you decide to come over to uh, Twitch. If you guys have any comments on Patreon, put them in the comments. If you feel like it's a good idea, put it in the comments. Let me know. Uh, but I just want to thank you guys. You guys have been awesome. And... Oh. Uh, follow me on Twitch. Link will be in the description. It'll probably be here on the screen. Uh, so, yeah. I lost my train of thought. I am.